top Gelp CEO Manuel Ferreira de Oliveira joins us live from Lisbon. Thank you so much for joining us. I wanted to get to your business in just a minute, but I wanted to just get a sense of how concerned you were about you know, the political troubles that the EU is facing right now, that Portugal in particular is facing. Do you have any funding issues because you're in one of the peripheral countries and therefore investors have lost a bit of confidence? Are you, are, you, are you referring to the funding issues of Portugal or of Gulp in Asia? Of Portugal, of Portugal. The fact that actually we still don't have a solution. We're looking at a downgrade possible for Spain and that Portugal is really at the heart of this whirlwind. You see, we are, as you are well aware, in the high of the storm. We simply hope that the storm goes away so that we get out of the high. No, what's going on in the USA doesn't help anybody. So we simply hope that common sense prevails and, uh, and uh, the, the, an agreement is achieved as soon as possible. And so the, the you know, advice or that the plea that you would do to investors today is not focus on the debt crisis so much, either in the US or in Europe, but focus on your results today? Yes, yes. Uh, so, so as far we are focusing on the results of, of our company today. But referring to your question, what I see is that turmoil in, in, uh, in the USA is actually weakening the dollar, and uh, a weaker dollar, uh, it doesn't help uh, particularly the Iberia, which we need mm. to increase our exports, and uh, we, would, mm. we, we, we would prefer a, a weaker euro versus dollar, which is not happening because of the, the issues going on in Washington. Yes, I want also now to, to really focus on Gallup and ask you about okay. your output target because you've increased that significantly thanks to what's happening in Brazil. Why exactly will that have an impact on your output target? See, we have increased our target for 220 from, from 200 to 300,000 barrels a day. That increase will come from Brazil. As you are well aware, and uh, we have uh, a very large exposure to the pre-sound reserves of Brazil, and um, the recent results achieved both in in the in the fields, in the giant fuel fields of Lula, Sernambi, and Yara, have given us data that uh, that uh, data related to the productivity of the wells mm -hmm. and to in the recovery factor of the resources. And so, in Mr. Place. Ferreira. Mr. Ferreira de Oliveira, does it mean that actually you have now a specific, a specific valuation for your unit in Brazil? Yes, we have. We have, as you, uh, we are now issue, uh, uh, preparing a, an equity issue in a private placement uh, for Petrogal Brazil, our local subsidiary, which is ongoing. So I would not comment very much on on the valuation issues because it's a process that is ongoing, is on the market, which we hope to uh, conclude uh, by the end of September. So are you? And that's, that is going to be a success. So are you at the moment actually in the process of selecting bidders? Are you talking to bidders, and do you have a short list of, of the people that you'd like to do business with? Yes, we have already a short list of uh, uh, of uh, high, high quality bidders, which are working very hard. To, uh, to prepare their binding offers, which uh, will be, will, which we expect to receive uh, and then decide upon by the end of this September. How concerned are you about the volatility in the price of oil? It does seem that a lot of the companies in this industry have done very well, but at the same time, it's also very testing times because it's difficult to make forecasts. Yes, I've been in the industry for 40 years, and the word volatility is part of the industry. So, uh, so we are used to it. So we have to learn and prepare our plans in different scenarios and, uh, and uh, face them when the events occur. So the issue of volatility is enshrined in our culture. We have learned to live with it, and we invest uh, taking some risks. Our industry is a high-risk industry. Uh, and uh, on average, through a, a long period of time, the return on investment of the investments in the industry All compensates right. the. Thank you so much, and we wish you very good luck for the future, Mr. Manuel Ferreira de Oliveira. There, the CEO of Galp.